So you're looking for a business credit card and you're having some trouble deciding. Well, in this video, I'm gonna break down two of the most popular options, Ramp and Divi, so that you can decide which one is best for you. I also do use one of these cards personally for one of my businesses, but I will be keeping an unbiased approach here and share that information with you at the end. Also, if at any point during the video, you do wanna sign up for either card, I'll leave links in the description below with the best current available offer that also may help to support the channel as well. And if you haven't checked out my individual breakdowns of Ramp and Divi, feel free to do that as well. But without further ado, let's dive in and start off with the similarities between these cards, and then we'll dive into what sets them apart from each other and who each one makes sense for. So Ramp and Divi are definitely a lot more similar than they are different. They both provide you with both a business credit card and a business expense management software. So not only are you spending money on the card, but you're also able to manage, track, and keep eyes on everything within the software that they provide you. But that being said, the differences can be quite important. Now, the first similarity is that they give the business owner full control over the spending, the budgeting, and the permissions with each of these cards. What that means is you can set different rules, different budget allocations, and do everything automatically so that you're not having to comb through all your business credit card statements every single week. They're also both completely free to use with no subscription fees, additional card costs, or any kind of upgrade plans. So you're saving money with both right off the bat. Both also do not require any personal guarantees, hard inquiries on your credit report or growth expenses, making it super easy to apply online without having to worry about a hit to your credit. They also allow for an unlimited number of physical and digital cards, meaning you can issue as many cards as you need to to different departments, different employees for different purposes, and not have to worry about running into any caps there. Then with all those cards, they'll provide you with precise breakdowns by department, by category of spending, by time frame, so that you can easily get a bird's eye view of exactly what's going on and what money is being spent and for what throughout your entire company. Both also have an app to easily keep an eye on things. And the cards they issue you are charge cards, which means they need to be paid off in full at the end of every billing cycle. This is a big part of why they're able to extend such generous credit lines without having to do a hard inquiry. So now that you understand how these cards are similar, let's dive into the differences so that you can start to think about which one's gonna make the most sense for you and your business. And starting off with one of the things that I personally find most important, let's talk about the rewards that these cards do offer you. Because if you're spending hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars through your business every year, you could potentially be earning some significant rewards depending on where you direct your spending. With Ramp, it's very simple. Users are going to earn a flat 1.5% cash back unlimited on all of their purchases. Divi, on the other hand, has a much more diverse rewards program that actually depends on how often you choose to pay off your card. So with the Divi card, you're able to choose whether you wanna pay your card off monthly, semi-monthly, or weekly. And the choice that you make is gonna determine what your rewards look like. Now, if you pay your card off monthly, you're gonna get the lowest reward structure, which looks like 2X back on restaurants, 2X back on hotels, 1.5X back on recurring software subscriptions, and 1X back on everything else. Moving to semi-monthly, you're gonna earn 4X back at restaurants, 3X back at hotels, 1.75X back on recurring software subscriptions, and 1X back on everything else. Then if you're paying your card off weekly, you actually earn 7X back at restaurants, 5X on hotels, 2X on recurring software, and 1.5x on everything else. Meaning that if you're paying your card off weekly, you match that 1.5x that Ramp offers, plus everything else is just icing on the cake to allow you to earn rewards potentially a lot faster. Now, a potential downside of Divi is that they do require a soft credit inquiry. This is not gonna affect your credit score, but they do look at your credit profile, which could be a limiting factor if your personal credit score isn't that great. Ramp, on the other hand, does not do any kind of credit check at all throughout the application process, so you don't have to worry if you're coming in with bad credit. Now, Ramp's got some downsides too because they're not actually available for sole proprietors. You have to be a corporation in order to get approved for the card. You can still get access to the expense management software for free if you are a sole proprietor, but to get approval for the card, you've got to be a corporation. On top of that, you have to have at least $75,000 in liquid assets in your business in order to get approved. So if you don't have at least 75 grand in the bank, there's no sense applying to Ramp. If you want to get automatically approved, you've got to have at least $250,000 in the bank for ramp. Now, Divi, on the other hand, has a much lower requirement and only requires you to have $20,000 of cash in the bank in order to get approved, which could be much more friendly for these small businesses out there. Now, a couple more quick differences to touch on. Ramp is currently only available for US-based companies. Ramp also has no late payment fees or international expense fees. Divi, on the other hand, has both, but it's very unlikely that you would receive late payment fees as it's a charge card and you're required to pay it off at the end of the billing cycle. 
And then Divi has phone support where Ramp does not currently offer this. So boiling things down here, who does Ramp make sense for? Who does Divi make sense for? Well, if you're a new business and don't have that much cash in the bank, Ramp is probably not for you. Also, if you want to be really savvy about rewards, it's probably not the best pick as well. However, if you're running a lot of international transactions, you don't care as much about maximizing on rewards and you have plenty of money in the bank, Ramp could be a pretty solid option for you. Divi, on the other hand, is willing to work with you even if you are a smaller business. The eligibility requirements are more lax and the rewards program can be significantly better than Ramps if you do choose to pay your card off on a weekly cadence. Now, like I said, I personally do use one of these cards myself for one of my businesses and that is going to be Divi. I've had a great experience with them, no complaints so far, but again, I've got links for both in the description below, so you can choose which one is best for you. They'll provide you with the best currently available offers and potentially support the channel as well. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video.